Okay, we are going to go ahead and calculate molar mass using the periodic table. This can also be called formula mass or formula weight, so it can be abbreviated on, if you're looking at a bottle, for example, FW, or molecular mass or molecular weight, MW. Okay. So that's really what we're talking about. So if you're looking at a bottle of a chemical, what does that number mean? It really means grams per mole, and that's what we're talking about right here. So our goals are, first, you, have, you must determine the total number of atoms in your chemical formula, and then you're going to use the periodic table to calculate the molecular mass in grams per mole. Okay, and this is very quite easy. You just use the atomic mass and multiply it by the number of atoms. So we're starting with our example H2, we know that the ma atomic mass of H is 1.008. We know it as AMU, that can also be written as grams per mole. So when we're preparing for stoichiometry, we're going to be using grams per mole. We know that there are two total H2 atoms here because this small subscript is the number of atoms of whatever symbol is in front of it. So that would be of H. So we know we can take this, multiply that by 2, and we get 2.016 grams per mole is the formula weight, or the molecular weight, or the molar mass of H2. So we'll abbreviate it maybe MM, molar mass. Okay, it's called molar mass because of the moles right there. Okay, next example, CO2. So pause the video, try it for yourself, and then come back. Okay, so we've got carbon. We've got one of those. Its molecular mass is 12.011 grams per mole. And we've got oxygen, and there's two of those, only one of these. So 2 times 15.999, I always round it to 16.00, grams per mole. Okay, and then you just add them up. So, one second. Okay, so adding these up, come on pen. We add up everything that's there. So 12.01 plus 32 is going to give us 44.011 grams per mole. And that is the, mo the molar mass of CO2. Okay, and so you're noticing that it's different. And also, if you're looking at the periodic table, the atomic masses for each is different. So this is going to be r really important. Th the periodic table gives us a way to relate grams of something, which is kind of not standard, to moles of something. And the moles of something is extremely standard. Moles is a quantity, and we can compare it. OK, so that's, that's my little tirade right there. Okay, finally, H2O, again, pause the video, make your answer, and then restart the video. Okay, so we've got two H's here, two times 1.008 grams per mole, and then oxygen, again, that's 16.00. Why didn't I round the H's? And then you just add up all the weights of all the atoms. So this is 2.016, really, grams per mole, plus 16 gives us 18.016 grams per mole for water.